taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. We're back. It's time for Taste Buds, everybody. T-A-S-T-E, Buds! I'm back here, your host, Joe List, and uh, happy to have my two very special guests this week. We got Sal Volcano Woo! and Joe DeRosa. 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 <laughs> Joe DeRosa and Sal Volcano are here, and we're excited. I am very happy to be here. It's good to be here, man. I'm very excited today. I don't know why I'm we, so revved up. I love up. having Joe on. One, because I just love Joe in general, but two is because Joe genuinely enjoys the show. I yes. love the show. Yes. Yeah, but you've never... And you're vocal about it. You post online that you say you love the show. I yes. see it all the time. It's very nice. I love you. I jump in the comments. I love you. I love you. I just... I like to write the comments. But yeah, I haven't watched the full program. Absolutely. Ever. I get that. Never once. Ever. Never once. I'm, I'm not offended by that. I'm just saying I, I'm impressed that you have such love for it just from the clips and that... But I get it. Well, I have this thing. When, do you guys have this at all? When I'm home, it's time to watch something. I have a lot of pressure on myself that I'm like, I should be watching a film yeah. or a sporting event. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, a podcast, it's not really art. I yeah. just... I bought $300 worth of Blu-ray, 4K, whatever movies well, in that, Austin. That, that's excellent because that is, a, that is a flourishing medium. Yeah. yeah. No, I know you have your jokes. Watch what happens when the grid goes down. Who's going to have all the entertainment at his house? <laughs> yeah. You're not going to be allowed in. No, but 300 like hours is reasonable. A, 300 is reasonable. <laughs> Who are you to judge me no, the I just, week after my birthday? I, I'm Let not judging you. Myself. I just spent 500 on eight tracks. <laughs> I'm not judging you. 4K. What happens when the, when the terrestrial radio goes down? 4K. You, you think you're getting 4K on a stream? You ain't getting it. You're not getting 4K on the stream? I, believe you I have no idea, to be honest. With okay. You. But my point what? is... How much was each... D how many DVDs? Well, a lot okay. of them were... Oh, 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 oh. Were, they, were they used? No. They were, they were new? Was, you bought new? Yeah. Well, wait, wait. You could have bought used. They're not DVDs. Oh. They're 4K discs. Okay? That's the latest medium. But what is the disc? A 4K, it's called a 4K UHD, ultra high definition. That's well, what, what does it look like? It's a disc. It looks like a Blu-ray or DVD, it's but it's DVD. it's not. A DVD is a different uh, um, uh, technology. Different technology yes. Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Well, then I. So you're telling me they're pushing a new physical media in this day and age? Brother, 4K is yeah. I know about 4K. It's been around a long time. I have a 4K television. Yeah, but but they didn't have 4K disc. These are 4K. They do 4K tra full. Transferred. The movies look unbelievable. Okay. So okay. you get a 4K. You get a 4K of a movie that came out in the 70s, and you watch it, and you're like, this is what it looked like day one in the theater. Oh, okay. You I know get what that. I mean? Okay, so Joe, yeah. who actually, Joe, is a filmmaker himself. Yes, I actually, am a filmmaker. little shout out there. That's, that's correct. Well, I, yes. just did a, I just a did a, a thing with you. <laughs> we just no? did a little a program together. We you did, yes. Yeah. I, I cast you, and, and I appreciated the director listening, because oftentimes people write, like, oh, who should we get for this? And I'm like, oh, you got to get Scoopily Boop, and yeah. then they don't even look Which at Which is my it. working name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Scoopily Boop. <laughs> but That's right. Are you sure it's not just a DVD? Will it play in a PlayStation player, or do you have to buy a... The new system? ones, because the new ones are 4K compatible. Uh, but, but no, it will not play in a regular Blu-ray player. I mean, uh, if, it, if it looks like a DVD... <laughs> and it sounds like a DVD. Hey, but DVD looks like a CD. You tell me it's the same thing? Okay, Excellent. you know what? That's Excellent a point. very good point. Thank but you do you very call much. it a 4K? Do you say, I got a yeah, 4K of yeah, good it's called fellas? A 4K you got to let, let people know. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. don't want people to think you're messing around with like anyway, 1080. Anyway, to answer your question, how much is each one? Wait, they, wait, 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 wait. We're going to guess. How many 4K discs does $300 yield? Uh, some of them were box sets, to be fair. Okay. I got some box sets. Okay. I'm going to Go say ahead. a 4K disc is about $29.99. I, I swear to God, I was going to say $30. Okay. Very similar. It ranges anywhere from... Now, they can be much cheaper than this if they're on sale or whatever. But the average price is anywhere from about 25 bucks to... Up to including about fifty oh, for a Dep single, yeah, yeah. Depending on what the edition is, and like sometimes it's like fiftieth anniversary, four K transfer. There's four versions of the film on this, whatever. Sometimes those are a little pricier. Okay, but I got a lot of, of fun stuff. That's a lot of. Well, versions. one of the things I bought was the George Romero Dawn of the Dead four K, oh. and there are four cuts of the film on it. All of them in 4K UH, which is usually it's one cut will be in 4K and then the others will be on Blu-ray. Seems excessive. I don't care for multiple cuts or alternate endings. Yeah. You're presenting me a story. Give me the story. 
Here's the only reason I brought it up, not to talk about my problems uh, <laughs> with the, with spending money on things okay, that I have make me question. feel as if I have a family at home. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I spend... The I, zombies are your brothers and sisters. Right. I brought it up because you said I should be watching a film, and what I was trying to say was, I just spent $300 because of that notion, where I'm like, I should have, I should be with a film right now, and, and art and all this stuff. But I think you know? with the four different cuts is really where they get you, because <laughs> they're going to charge more for those cuts, naturally, right? But what... But I wouldn't have if you spent watch them, on- if you watch them on four televisions at the same time, they're four different cuts. They're not four different movies. They're not four different stories. So at some point, each cut, there's an extra scene or two. I indulge. Are you going to watch all four and I, I, and I may, notate where the? I may or may not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some of the cuts I haven't seen because I've seen the original cut. But uh, and I'm going to see if it's any different. But here's the thing: I'm going to see if it's any different. I'm going to. It better be. You just smack down fifty dollars. It's fine. On. I indulged on that one because Dawn of the Dead is one of my favorite horror movies ever, mm. and I only have ever had a used DVD of it. I never upgraded to Blu-ray or two. It was due time. It was due time. Yeah, and I was like, I'm I'm going to go for the big okay. boy on this one. Okay, yeah. take us to your other selections. I got a I got a great box set of horror movies from Mexico. Two of which I've definitely wanted to see for a long time that you were never able to get in the States. Okay. So that was a cool box set. I got... <laughs> Those Mexican horror box sets. Hard to come by. Here's one. Yeah. I got I got Swamp Thing and Return of Swamp Thing. Oh, but you got the 4K. 4K. You got the 4K. That's good. Wow. That's good. So you can so you can see how they filmed it on the camcorder. <laughs> I call but you really get a sense of the swamp, though, right? Yeah, the, yeah. It's, it feels you feel as if the swamp is a character in and of itself okay. in the 4K. Dirt, I called. Dirt and water. I called Pat Walsh while uh, I I called because he collects movies incessantly as well. Okay, he owns every movie in the Criterion Collection. Wow, like every Come on. he owns. Do they know that? He owns every single movie in the Criterion Collection. Wow. Uh, anyway. He's I keeping ca- the lights on over there. I called him from Waterloo <laughs> Waterloo Records in Austin, and I go. I go if there was a support group for like movie collector addicts. I used to do it, but I stopped. I, I go if there was a support group. I go. I just hit my bottom. This is the story I would tell. Okay. I go. I was standing at the counter in Waterloo Records with a line of people behind me going, <laughs> "Is there any way you can tell me <laughs> what Burt Reynolds movies you have <laughs> between eighty one and eighty <laughs> nine?" And the guy goes, I swear to God, the guy goes, we talking mustache or no mustache? I go, no, 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 mustache only. That's amazing. Yeah. I go, mustache only. I don't want any comedies. I want all the action titles right. you have in stock. And I go, Pat, I am asking this as I am holding a 4K copy of both Swamp Thing and Return of Swamp Thing. Wow. And I was like, I need, to, I need help. There's something really wrong with me. <laughs> Now, how are, will you watch all of these DVDs, or do you buy them because yeah, you I want them, you collect them, and then you never put them in? No, I watch them. I have a backlog of stuff I haven't gotten to yet, mm. but 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 I've seen most of what I own at this point. At right. my height of my addiction, I uh, I had about six hundred DVDs. I love it. I uh, many of them though, I'd, I'd say at, at least a, half of them were probably I, when they started to come out used. I would buy them used because I'm not an asshole. <laughs> um, but well, you, well, I, I, I'll tell you right now, I probably haven't watched at least. A uh, half of those. I'll tell you the problem with used. There's, you know, you, first of all, you, you you can inspect the disc and everything, but sometimes you get a bad disc and it, it, invisibly it's not, you're not able to sure. tell. But this is the re, and I keep a lot of DVDs because I like, I, I have VHS. I, sometimes I like the texture of a certain medium versus another. Fair. But one of the reasons I have been replacing or upgrading movies that I really love is because with the modern TVs, a lot of older DVDs, you put them on, and it's like a picture in the center of the screen, and yeah. you can't adjust that. Yeah. And you're like, That's how they get this you. is just mis... Like, it's not formatted for modern television, yeah, yeah. you know? Well, wh- so What about the street? Because I own, like, 300 movies now on iTunes because I feel like it's so easy right. to just click it. It's always $9.99, $12.99. I'm doing pretty well financially, so I just yeah, yeah. purchase. <laughs> yeah. Really? Um, I, 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 I've bought movies on iTunes that I have on DVD upstairs because I didn't want to go upstairs. I've done that many yeah. times. Yeah. yeah, Gary Gullman had a great joke about that. He's like, if I can throw this into the DVD player, I won't buy it. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something like that. You guys and Pete Holmes are the only people I know that he'd said that to me before. He Was says it? he's rented it on. I've done it on multiple Apple times because he doesn't feel like walking into the other. I've room. done it multiple times. I won't pay. I won't pay above market value. I'll, if it's a good deal, like it, I always get. I always get stuck during the holidays. Like I was like, oh, let's let's watch a Christmas movie. I'm like, 
all right, well, Home Alone is only three ninety nine. I'm not going to go up the steps. Exactly. <laughs> well, I also only have one cable, so I have to unplug the the Apple TV cable Wait, and plug in the DVD. Cable. Why? Well, I have there's two HDMI's. One has cable, like television. Wait, your TV only has two HDMI ports? I think so. What is it like a vintage? I, no. <laughs> really? How, How many is this supposed to have? Like five? I don't know. Five, five, five I bet years you there's ago? a couple on the back of that thing that you don't know are there. This oh, whole time you got HDMI side, right? you didn't know about. I've been unplugging the, the You only thing have two ports it. on the side. The yeah, back then has ports. other ports. Back ports? Yeah, back ports. Is it, I don't know it, what the back port is. Is it mounted or on the on a de- on a It's on a, a, a console. Thing, yeah. Okay, so you have access to the back. Sure. So you would know if there's extras. There's no extras. I don't think he's ever looked I've never back looked. there. I mean, I paid you a never guy swiveled? extra. I like I palmed a guy to set it up to okay. put it on the stand. I'm not very right. uh, Put it on the stand? Yeah. <laughs> and that guy was in the house <laughs> hanging pictures. I brought in a guy to like hang pictures and put on the stand. I got to tell you, man, nice. I, for you are the one of the only guys I know where I am not surprised you don't know how many ports are on the back of that TV. Well, later on, I hung some pictures on my own. No, no, no. I'm talking the TV ports. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't know. It's too many wires. My brain gets, my wires get crossed. It's all the wires. I can't figure it out. I'm moving in like three weeks. I'm dreading it just because the wires. I don't where know are you how moving to? to? Just upstairs. Oh, jeez. I know. That's almost worse than moving across like to another state. I know. Your line's across. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're so within, Chang. I'm Donna Chang. It's so within reach upstairs, but it's still going to be a pain in the ass. I know. You know Someone I mean? just said that to me. Yeah. Like, if you're moving across the country, you're upstairs. It's still the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's true. So when you when you invite someone for plans to watch one of these movies, do you say when you invite them that it's that it's this 4K transfer? Is that part of the part of the do you no. want that to, them to know that? No. So then they'd come to but your I house not say, knowing that they're getting a 4K I have transfer. been in my home with perhaps a date mm-hmm. where we say we're going to go watch a movie. Mm-hmm. And it does feel very good to say, knock yourself out. Go, you go over there, you pick something out. Right. And they go over and they go, oh my God. And they weren't expecting it's that so resolution. Big. That's what they say. They, it's so big. They weren't expecting the resolution. <laughs> What the screen? How big is the screen? Oh, you send them to the collection. Oh, the collection. Uh, right. Oh, they get out. to peruse like it's a DVD library. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, and yeah. then I made a joke. I said it's so. You got it. I got that. Uh, uh, like yeah. genitals. Yeah. Do you, you do you al- do you alphabetize or are they just or I, just categorize? I alpha I alphabetize. I group Category. letters. No, no, no. I group by letter. I don't alphabetize within okay. the letters. It's okay. too it's too much to keep up with. Yeah. But then this is one of the crazy things I do. I have a lot of movies that I bought from one uh, specific label. Like, like there are restoration labels. Like, so Arrow Video is a label where they get they they cultivate old horror and genre movies, and then they restore them and do special edition releases. So, like, all my Arrows are in one place. All my Criterion's are in one place. Okay. Like, you know, so that's that's a little more for me than for them. Okay. All you know right. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. But I do a little for me, a little for them. Yeah. yeah. My, nice. my, we used yeah. to collect VHSs like my dad did and then I did. I was into movie collecting. So before the DVDs, I had hundreds and hundreds of VHS. Mm. And that was a that was a real kick in the end nuts because I had to put them in those big Ikea bags. You know those blue Ikea bags? Sure. They're like a buck, but you could put like 100 pounds in it. Yeah. I filled like five or six of those up and brought them down to the Salvation Army just dropped them there. I would have... <sighs> purchased those from you some of them you have vhs also a very limited amount because new york is so tight but one of the things it's it's one you feel when you're feeling that you want the absolute worst resolution no it looks dude it you gotta understand you watch like a um, a horror movie from the 80s on a vhs tape and it's the texture of that the the authenticity looks awesome it's a very uh the the, the verisimilitude what's what's the word i'm looking for verisimilitude no idea. The authenticity. One of the things I dream about when I own a house. Verisimilitude, no? No, that sounds like a radio team. I don't know what that means. Verisimilitude? Verisimilitude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where is Verisimilitude? I, I hope I'm not using it wrong. Is there, is <laughs> very, no, not ver, not verse in mojito. Ver, verisimilitude. Uh, V-E-R-S-I... V-E-R... I, uh, V-E-R-I-S... Dow ver, Ripple. D-A-L-W-R. V-E-R-I... V-E-R-I-S... I, no, one word. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Well, 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 but, 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 but just go to the definition. This is some thrilling radio here. 
being true or real? Uh, I don't know what the, the details hell. of the novel. Look, go to uh, synonyms. Let's see that. I'm really. I'm sorry. I'm putting you to work here. Uh, realism, authenticity, color, authenticity, well, authenticity. I, it's, yeah. I'm not convinced you used that word correctly, but sure. I'm, I get what you were getting. I'm to. fully convinced. I get what you were getting to. What's up, guys? Let's talk about Game Time. Game Time. Game Time is an app that you can get, and it is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for your sports, your music, comedy, and theater last minute. You don't have to stress anymore about months before. They guarantee their prices. You can see the angle of the stage or wherever the performance is from your seat so you know exactly what you're getting. They have a low price guarantee, uh, event cancel protection, uh, and, and, and here's what they do. If you find a, a ticket that is cheaper than the ticket they have in the same row and section, they will refund you 110% of the difference. Yes, absolutely. Flash deals on last-minute tickets. I mean, it's just it's it's an awesome, awesome, awesome service. So here's what we want, we want you to do. We want you to forget the planning the months in advance. We want you to go get the deals on the tickets right up to the day of the event by using Game Time. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code TASTEBUDS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. And redeem code taste buds for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Guys, let's talk about Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. DFS. That's right. Uh, they are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. So instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on a two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. I so like they're that. redefining how you play daily fantasy sports. And I like that because this is I, I I don't understand sports and I could actually do. You understand this. the numbers? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I actually don't gamble much. The only thing I really gamble on is football, and I. I played fantasy football for 26 years and I tried this app out and I it was I was I thought I was going to be intimidated it was so simple to understand it was like fun to do I also like that they have quick withdrawals easy gameplay and an enormous selection of players and stat types uh, and that's what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app again this is like accessible to everybody yeah. I understand what that means you know what I mean? And, and it doesn't intimidate me. They do make it and fun. It. Like, they offer weekly promotions that can lead to, pay, like, big payouts. Like, they do a Taco Tuesday. Every Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. It's it's fun. If you have any interest, check it out. Um, go to pricepicks.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds for a first deposit match up to $100. Okay? That's pricepicks.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars daily fantasy sports made easy prize picks folks joe DeRosa here i am hitting the big open road this fall with i never promised you a rose garden the tour coming to a bunch of cities bunch of shows Excited to see you out there. September 16th, Avenal, New Jersey. September 21st through the 23rd, Toronto. Uh, September 29th through October 1st, I'll be at Skank Fest. Not doing the hour there, but I'll be there, and I hope to see you. Uh, November 11th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Theater of the Living Arts. November 17th, Pittsburgh, PA. November 18th, Buffalo, New York. November 30th, Denver, Colorado. December 1st, Phoenix, Arizona. December 3rd, Salt Lake City. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. We have so much going on. Make sure you cop that new Salsa Windfall album. Artificial Birth, available on all streaming platforms now. We hope to see you, people. And I, hope, I, also, I also hope to see you at Joey Rose's. Oh, you, sold My bar. you sold me big time. And Sandwich Place, down in the Lower East Side of New York, Joey Roses. JoeyRoses.com. We're open seven days a week. I'll see you there. And that's where the after party's happening on October 28th. Boom! What's up, everybody? I am on the road right now. Just announced a lot of dates for my tour. They're on sale right now. You can get tickets at salvolcanocomedy.com. I'm coming to Bowling Green, Cincinnati, Toledo, Wilkes-Barre, Wilmington, Macon, Savannah, and Athens, Georgia. Uh, I'm coming to Peoria, Rockford, and Springfield, Illinois, Cedar Rapids, Duluth, Appleton, Rochester, Davenport, and Elkhart, Indiana. Gearing up to film my special in Chicago uh, in December. 
Tune in next week. I will give all the information about the special taping. But until then, SavileComedy.com, and I'll see you guys on the road. You know, sometimes you want a, 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 an older uh, medium. <laughs> It's very funny. The way you tell the story, it's funny. Uh, sometimes you want an older medium. Here's why. Uh, and and uh, special effects guys will talk about this. They say the grain and the, the darkness and texture of older film and stuff like that, it hit a lot of stuff. So that's why sometimes you watch like an older horror movie on like there was a second Blu-ray or whatever, and you go like, this looks so corny, and it's yeah. because yeah, because the clarity is too sharp. Okay. So there's different there's different ways to enjoy things. Anyway, wait, but we got to We got it. But before we get to the pizza battle, please, we got to talk about the ice cream thing that Joe posed. What? Remember the ice cream question he oh, asked? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, said, sorry. Yes. Save it for the air. Yes, it, yes, yeah, yes, so, yes, yes. So. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> He went, show. he went blank. <laughs> Did you see how blank he just went? Well, I don't. I think I felt like the, the conversation had an ended on its own volition. The DVD, it was it abrupt. Happened. It was abrupt. It had it, but I'm scared and we're going to get to the ice, ice cream thing. But I, 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 I just want to... The I synapse didn't, even, didn't connect with the ice creams when you said, what about the ice cream? Uh, <laughs> I feel bad that I sidetracked us to this extent. How bad do you feel? Scale of one to ten. Eight. Whoa. Yeah, because I, I feel shit. crazy. I feel like yeah. I was talking about myself and my own interests, and I didn't mean to do that. I, Joe's I, I, here. I would, I would go higher than a two on that. Yeah. Okay. You beat yourself <laughs> up. Two's a little tough. Yeah. I've told people I hate them to their face and was below eight. I was one yeah. of them at one point. I believe. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, um, eight is uh, eight's reserved for uh, much uh, more... Uh, just tougher fair. I just mean in 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 relevance to this particular. I just moment. don't want. I just don't want to proceed with you feeling out of sorts. No, I don't feel bad. Like like it's not an eight. Like like if I hurt your feelings and I was at an eight, it'd be a different kind of eight. Okay, I'm at an eight for as bad as you can feel about talking about your DVDs and sidetracking the conversation. I'm having a hard time understanding scales. Right. I'm trying to talk about the ver <laughs> ver very milliesitude <laughs> of how bad I feel. Uh, what the the you word definitely use that wrong. What was the word? Verisimilitude. No, it said the authenticity. Verisimilitude. Verisimilitude. But it also said color. Thing. Color is also a synonym. That's wild. Can I say I'm laying out in the sun? I'm trying to get a little verisimilitude. I don't know. <laughs> I always just thought of it as something that was like wholly authentic, incredibly authentic. That's what I, I thought. Okay. Fair enough. Depicting, yeah, depicting realism as in art or literature. But I think it means like the execution of the story, not. Well, that said, verisimilar. Yeah, this oh, is a different wow. word. We're under a different okay. word now. Yeah. All right. I uh, I did okay on the SATs with the English. I scored so low on my SATs, it's insane. How low? I don't think I ever cracked a thousand. <laughs> Ooh, that's not that bad. Ouch! I I'm did, eating over here. I did six. <laughs> I did six fifty math. But my but my verbal was not good. My verbal was like four ninety or five ten or something like that. I think I did a cumulative nine eighty or. That's, a, that's good. Uh, it was. Hey. It was a ten fifty. Ten fifty, hi folks. Ten fifty. I mean, you're, you're what's six fifty and four ninety? Like you're you know, ten forty. Yeah. So you're up. You got 12. me by ten points. No, are you kidding? <laughs> is it six fifty and four ninety is ten forty? Eleven forty. What is it? No, six fifty and four ninety. Six fifty and four ninety is eleven something. Eleven forty. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Sometimes you I go. think I cracked 11, but I don't think I ever did. <laughs> and when the times that you do, the times that you do, all of a sudden he cracks eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not even a thousand. I Here's I our it, numbers, and you're I over took 11. It a second time. I didn't prep at all for it. I winged it both times. The second time, I think I cracked 900. I was like, "Good enough. I'm out of here." Can like, I tell I'm you, not I, doing this I had again. I had no interest in going to college. I knew I wasn't going, and then I was also an athlete. These people at home might not believe it, but I I missed the day of uh, track. That's right. Uh, I missed the day of. You um, seem like a track star. Oh yeah, look at these yeah. gams. Um, I missed the day of the test. Taking, and then so I had to do it on my own, and I did it during school hours. On I was your like own in my office. They don't allow for that. I swear to God. Did you have some kind of connections? No, I was this, by myself. How did they let you take it on your own? You that should have just been system. not allowed in college. I didn't go to college. Okay. I didn't even apply to a college. Okay. That's why I didn't care. And I said, so "Why'd you take it?" A ten fifty because you're required to. You're not required. I. What are they going to do to you? That's an excellent question. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't have these abilities to push back as okay. a boy. Okay. I was like, okay, I got to take it. But anyways, the point of the story, if I may. Yes, please. I'm a guest. I was, <laughs> they caught me spinning in my chair because I didn't give a shit. I was spinning and then I looked over. My guidance counselor was like looking through the little window in the thing. I was like, Costanza in there. 
<laughs> uh, but still got a 1050. It's in my pocket. <laughs> I went out the window. <laughs> Why not the door? The door. That's so Windows good. right here. Why is there food on this? <laughs> I got a sandwich. Where'd you get this in? Uh, it's from my pocket. It's so All funny. Right, it's uh, the program. Wait, so you post an ice cream question I post an ice cream question. I go to Sundays and Cones over here. I'll throw a plug out for these mm-hmm. folks. You guys know Sundays and Cones? I don't. Oh, man. 10th Street and 3rd Avenue. All right. Beautiful. Ice cream. Best ice cream in the city, in my personal opinion. First and first. Uh, I've acquired a daily allerg- a dairy allergy, which has really prevented my ice cream ventures yeah. lately. It's a bummer, but I do love ice cream. So. They got great cookies over there too. Okay, what's it's it called again? Sundays cones and cones. Sundays and I think cones. I'm right on the address. I believe it's 10th Street and Third Avenue. Okay, and and uh, great place. That's and you uh, you posed the question. I went there. I get two. I'm a chocolate chip guy. I get two scoops of chocolate chip, and I was with our mutual Mint? friend. No, vanilla. Okay, vanilla chocolate chip. And I get two scoops. I was with our, our mutual friend, Ari Shafir, and he thought that was bananas to get two of the same flavor. He gets two different flavors. I'd never heard of that. Well, he, he never heard of me. I mean, I've heard of, I know this Cosmopolitan or whatever it's called with strawberry. Neapolitan. 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 Yes. yes. <laughs> with the three flavors. So I've, I've seen three flavors. Chocolate, vanilla, swirl, of course. Sure, but sure. I've never seen someone get me a, a scoop of chocolate it, chip. Here's what I would say. I think you would, this is interesting, their argument. On a cone or even in a cup? I'm I'm cup. I'm a cup man. Oh, so you never even heard of two different scoops in a cup? No. Two different scoops on a cone is a little bit more. First of all, I can't tell you the last time. I mean, I haven't had ice cream in a cone in a long time. But even when I was still was in my ice cream cone days, I can't tell you the last time I had hard ice cream in a cone, like scooped. I can't remember the last time I had a cone where it wasn't soft serve. Oh, no. why? You're missing out. I don't Cone know. Stinks. I'm just saying. Are you saying that, though, like it's a good thing or a bad thing? I'm, not, I'm just saying I can't remember the last time I went to a place that actually was scooping ice cream. Like most places, it was like a... What I, the hell is so I, funny I, about scoop. this? Scoop is funny. Listen, I you think say you... say scoop, and, I'm laughing. I think you and Ari, Ari are equally crazy in this argument. Because that's just like Shafir to go... It's ridiculous not to get two. No, it's not, Ari. Shut up. Well, he's very critical. And he's people, very it's not, critical. It's not mentioned enough. You know what he said to me very once? I brought man. a friend out with us, and he goes, yeah, they weren't as annoying as your friends usually are. There's something wrong with Ari. Let's get, you know, let's just Certainly. get that out yeah. of the table. Uh, you know. But was he referring to an annoying friend? No. Okay. No. No. Right. He just well, says he says inappropriate things. Okay. Uh, but my point, I've he's done very both. critical is what I'm saying. Yes. Like you just said. So he's nuts for saying... To only get two different flavors is the only way. But I also think it's a little crazy that you never thought of the Spread option of wings. getting two different flavors. Well, my thing is, I like this. Fla- this is the flavor I'm desiring. Give me a large. You don't go to, I mean, this is a bad example, but you're not like, give me a large half Coke, half Sprite. I understand they mix a little bit, but you get a large Coke. I understand. You're not like, give well, me half a If you only want half one, then there's your answer right there. It's a closed chapter. Where there's not even anything to discuss. Right, but if you feel like you have the hankering for more than one, or you can't choose, but well, no hanker, do you I don't have a go? hanker. I would say uh, in my scoop days, I probably went same flavor more than anything because I I came up in a time they, they didn't have all these goddamn flavors. It was chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry yeah. at Wallaby Farms, and my dad would take me to the counter and he'd say, "What kind do you want? Do you want one scoop or two? And I would get two scoops of chocolate usually. Yeah, that was usually the God. I miss ice cream. Jesus. Get yourself an ice cream. Why don't you get yourself a lactate pill? Pop that. Eat your ice cream. It's not a lactose intolerance. It's a, it's a dairy allergy. So I get Ben and... The problem is, is I get... I know. You get the non-dairy. I get the non-dairy. But that's... But, let me tell you something. That's... No, the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy is awesome. You, you got those in Montauk, and you left them there, and I, I tasted one of them, and I threw it out immediately. Because it was too... It was so many calories, dude. I just was like, I can't eat all of this. So you bought four pints and then didn't eat it because of the calories? two pints, and I ate most of both of them. But if you want to exaggerate all day with me, I'll exaggerate all day with you. In my earlier ice cream days, I was the same. But once I opened my eyes to the fact, first of all, I don't just do it just to do it. If there's two I want, I'll entertain it. Otherwise, I'm still on your team. Right. But as I was saying before the cameras were on, and this is a little behind the scenes look, is that my big uh, my big concern with the two scoops is that mm-hmm. when they bleed together, is it going to be greater? Uh, is it going to is it going to cause like uh, you know something to be off in in the whole thing? And often what happens is you realize the second the first flavor is so good you're having a great time you're yeah. moving along and then you get to the second flavor and you're like shit I don't like this I wish I had that other. I, flavor. I do agree when it's too well not in a bowl that's never an issue. Oh. If you can't manage your scoops in a bowl, I mean I, I don't know what to talk to you. About. 
out of here. What are we talking about? You're yeah. in control. On a cone, you got a stacked situation going, and then that's a problem. But does not ice cream drip into the lower scoop? It drips. No, yeah, no, but I'm if saying, you're skilled. I'm saying to you, in a bowl, it's fine. It's manageable. In a cone, a it's good. not. I, I would get your argument if you're talking cone. I see. I don't care for a cone. The cone, it can it can topple over. It melts down your arm. I never understood a cone. Cone's a mess. In fact, I've never eaten an ice cream on a cone ever in my whole That's life. That's like an ice cream man named Cone. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, um, you're missing out, and I'll tell you why. Because it's not that big of a, a puzzle to solve. Uh, you know, it's it, just don't eat it like on the equator and just eat it with efficiency. Have a napkin at the bottom. You keep maintenance on the side here. I don't want to do maintenance. You, when you get to a point where the ice cream can't drip no more, then you feel really in control. I and then you can eat it at your own pace. And I got to tell you, the I bottom disagree of that with cone, you. I, and I don't mean a sugar cone, I mean a waffle cone. The bottom of that cone, that last bite with everything down there, it's a treat that you've never experienced. That's a shame. I don't like a crunch. I think I'm, I'm I no disagree crunch. with really? you. Really? I disague with you. Oh, I love you. a good crunch. <laughs> don't care I, for in a all facets, not even ice cream. I disagree with you. I think a cone with two different flavors is a lot more work than you're than you're saying it is right now. I, I do get the work part of it. You know, you but lick it, and then if it starts to drip, part you lick it. Is What's insane? the insane? The bowl part's insane. This kid can't wrap his head around two different flavors in a bowl. <laughs> but I think more often you see the image of two different ice creams on a cone, like in a cartoon. You see a yeah. green, a green, and a, a blue, or whatever. Not yeah. blue. That's crazy. No, no, they have Cookie cream. Monster now ice cream. I've seen it. There you go. Yeah. Dry land is not a myth. I've seen it. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. Now, this guy, let's talk to him because this guy, we all have a problem with this guy. Well, he's the world that's record. He's Guinness record. That's that's all. Um, all right. So Hard or soft? I'm hard. I'm hard, too. Currently. I would... <laughs> I went uh, when I was introduced to soft serve. Nothing was ever going to throw me off that again. But then when I got older, I started to reappreciate hard. Yeah, I mean, if you put a gun now, to I, I like soft. Yeah, if you put a gun to my head, I'm hard. I'd rather <laughs> clip it. I would rather have hard. I would rather have scoop now that I'm older. Yeah, soft also has. There's a chemical thing that happens with soft that's kind of weird. Like it's like soft doesn't taste real. All the time. There's no verisimilitude there. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Like yeah. soft, you're like, they did this is this isn't natural. Well, soft is fun to lick. The lick is fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's very easy to maintain. Let me ask you at home, when you're scooping, when you're self scooping uh, at home, do you leave it out and let it soften or do you just absolutely. work work it and get in there? No, mm. no. I let it sit for a little while. And and it's then part of the fun. It's like making a cup of tea. It's it meditative. Is, and then do you do you skim the sides first where it's the like, the softest? Yeah, I kind of go the softest, and then at some point, I'm eating out of the container. Yeah. And then at some point, I'll flip it and get to the bottom where it's flip. particularly yeah, yeah. melting. When, when I eat out of the container, I eat in concentric circles inward. Uh, yeah, I do yeah. that. Yeah. I do that. I do that. I uh, I might get a whole thing of ice cream after this. Not yeah. dairy, of course. This is, but this man, is I'm fun. really thinking about it now. Yeah, you guys go Sundays and Cones. Great, great place. Yeah. Little pricing. Yeah, I'll try it out. I'm not so sure. They but, have, uh, like... Gluten free or sugar free, so it's all the same. That shit, the gluten, the fructose, the dairy. I can't keep track of these people with their. Problems. Yeah. See, it's really easy. They used to, to charge for all those. Yeah, and you know what's a mind boggling? It's easy to find dairy free and it's easy to find sugar free, but it's very hard to find both combined. I like peas, but I hate yeah. pea soup. <laughs> I love carrots, but I like carrots. <laughs> what's that from? That's Seinfeld, of course. Oh, it is. Yeah. What episode is that? That's when they're the lip reader. Gwen's, Gwen's reading lips, oh. and she's reading the lips, and he says, I like peas, but I hate pea soup, and I hate carrots. But I, And then Kramer goes, me too. We lost, uh, we lost uh, video here. All right. Let's go. go the, let's get yeah. into the battle, okay. which is a, a lightning kind of round. We're not going to time them, but we have three battles within the, within the umbrella of pizza. We yes. have three lightning rounds here. I chose these will not count towards wins or losses for either you or me because I have chose chosen... To sit out of these battles. I'm going to partake in the battles, but I said I can't pick a side. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. I couldn't pick a side in either one. I was like, it's too case to case for me. But I've got a lot to say. Okay. So we're just going to have fun today. Okay. All right. All right, All right Joe. Do I tell you the last week of school. What do I do? When like the rules don't apply. You we're know? in a battle. Yeah. It feels like you're playing with a kid and he's like, I can fly. There's no wins or losses. We can all. And you're just kind of like, yeah, you're okay. going to get a participation trophy yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. Real. Well, first things Solid first. Tie. We're doing, um, are we doing extra sauce versus extra cheese? Yep. Okay. And I will tell you, I'm in your camp. 
We well, wait, we got to start the... We didn't do oh, okay. Sorry, Pepper. That's okay. Ready? Yes. Time two. B-A-T-T-L-E, buds. You were almost there with I it. caught it in the last part. Yeah. yeah. All right. Extra sauce versus doing. extra cheese. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Folks, let's talk about bird dogs. And I'm not talking about this dick. <laughs> bird dogs are short. <laughs> No, bird dogs And are. again, when I say short, <laughs> I'm not talking about this day. It's a whole line of clothes. I have tons of stuff. I have shorts. I have joggers. I have pants. I have shirts. They're awesome. They, they feel like they're gym shorts, but they look like they're really nice upscale shorts. And that's what you need. If you know me, that's what I want. I, like I want it. leisure. I want to look like I'm dressed up, but I want to feel like I'm in bed. I like that it's a, it's, a, it's, a sh it's a piece of clothing that hustles the other person. You thought I had nice shorts on, but they're gym shorts. And they, you thought they were khaki yeah, shorts, but they're gym shorts. You know when you like, like, <laughs> like you have a belt on or something, you come home and you take them off and you put on sweats, yep. and it's like, all right, now I just feel it just feels good. Yeah. That's like they they fit because they stretch. Yeah. To wherever you. Bird know. dogs made things that look like khakis that feel like you're in the sweats <laughs> yeah. the whole time. I love it, man. Uh, they're comfortable as fuck, and that is coming straight from the bird dog's mouth. Uh, please. Go to birddogs.com slash taste buds and enter promo code taste buds for a free tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash taste buds. I'm going to say it again. Birddogs.com slash taste buds and use promo code taste buds for a free tumbler. And by the way, I have the tumbler and I love it. And I'm not just saying that. It's good. The top seals it keeps stuff hot and cold for like eight hours and it fits in the cup holder in the car. So I'm just saying I like the tumbler. Uh, you know, there's already extra cheese on a regular slice IMO. The amount of cheese on a regular slice of original cheese pizza is a lot of cheese. I'm already there. I don't need more cheese on top of that cheese. That's why I always had a problem with stuffed crust. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you. No, no, I can see. I haven't had stuffed crust much. Is that just a pizza hut? Specific thing? Well, some I think a couple places d did it, but Seinfeld had a great bit where he went, he went. Well, the whole think. goddamn thing is cheese <laughs> in the middle. Uh, go ahead. I think that's a myth. That stuffed crust. I don't think it ever existed. No, ever Pizza Hut still, commercial. I think, is pushing. Oh, it. well, Pizza Hut. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, well, first of all, uh, one thing I hate too is opening a box of pizza and there's just oil everywhere, mm -hmm. and the oil is produced fr well from the sauce and the cheese, but the oil is horrible. And then the, you know. The oil, if you're holding it, you got. I, a lot of times I'll blot it and drip it out. If you don't, it hits the back way. You're ruining yeah. pants. I hear you're you. Gonna, if, I if, do if, a drip. You do a drip. I do a blot and a drip. If it's in the box and the box isn't corrugated cardboard, that's going right through that Did box. You, that's staining anything you got that on the surface. <laughs> you ever see a long game Polly when Phil Robin takes Ben Stiller's yes. slice and puts his grease onto his slice? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rain dance. Yeah, that's the best part. And it's, yeah. <laughs> Great film. I also think but you go lopsided. By the way, the you grease, go, uh, if I, I'm sorry. I don't mean I'm, I'm no, feeling please. being too verbose. Please. Scale of 1 to 10, please. 7. Uh, yeah, no, bro, no, no, no. Uh, no problem, because you didn't have a lot of opinions on this. Go but ahead. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do think the grease, I'll blot it off, but I do think the grease is the sign of a good slice because you're getting, you know that cheese is going to taste really good. When yeah, you little, get that oil grease is coming tasty, out. A little, yeah. I, somebody cooks a pizza and the cheese is just white and none of that grease comes out. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, which we're going to get to <laughs> in the margarita you, argument. That Please. grease could be a, like a weapon of mass destruction if the people that they were using it on care about stains and clothes. Because yes, I agree. I have never seen that grease fall on a piece of a, a, a tactile piece of cl a clothing, and I've never seen that grease come out ever. Gotcha. No. Have you ever? Doesn't come out. I don't out. care what stain no, you're dry, you dry cleaning. You got to go to dry cleaning. And it comes out? I've done it. Yeah. I've, got it out, I've gotten it out via dry cleaning many times. Okay. But now you're paying $8 because yeah. you missed one moment. You know, one moment you're off with a slice of pizza and you're, and you're like, I wore the pants for 45 minutes. God damn it. $8 is the price of a large original cheese pie when I delivered. That's wild. Wow. Man. That's wild. So, great extra days. sauce or extra cheese. I... Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm case to case. Hmm. Look, some places don't use enough sauce, and I go extra sauce. Some places don't use enough cheese, I go extra cheese. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't approach it as you're solving a problem. The, the slice is already fine. You want extra of something. I never want extra of either if the slice is made properly. Ever. Okay. Ever, 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 ever. If the slice is not made pro or the pie is not made properly, I love. 
it's a, I know it's not the best pizza in the world, but it's a guilty pleasure. I love Pizza Hut pizza. I love it. I love Domino's. They don't put enough sauce on Pizza Hut. You have mm. to ask for extra sauce, but it doesn't need extra cheese. It needs extra yeah. sauce. What? But that's not because I want extra sauce. Extra because, cheese no, is going to win. It just doesn't have enough sauce on it. People yeah, love extra. Well, extra cheese is a normal order. That's yes. a big popular order. Mm. Extra cheese. No one you ever hear. I never hear anyone order extra sauce. I'm all extra sauce on everything: chicken parm, rigatoni, pizza. But I think some places do the sauce like this. They do the circles, that's and then my- it leaves. Empty spots yeah. in it. You, you got to. I want it covered. Now yeah. I got to tell you, when it comes to a deep dish pizza, Chicago style or a grandma pizza, I'm not against the extra layer of sauce. It's a different experience, but that's not what we mean, right? That's not what we're saying. Here. No, you're not I saying. I want sauce in every bite, and often you get to the towards the crust, and it's there's no sauce. Sometimes in the middle, there's no sauce. I want sauce across. I'm a saucy guy. Sauce yeah. across I'll America. Tell you, I'll tell you something <laughs> yeah. else. I'll tell you something else, and this is why I think it's really important. First of all, you're throwing the proportions off when, you, when you're getting the extra cheese. It's a sloppy eat. It's still fun. Everyone likes cheese. But here's the thing. There's plenty of companies that make a very good mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Right, so the shredded cheese that's going on top. A lot of a lot of places, because pizzerias, they order those from other places, right? And if it's good, it's good. If it tastes good, it tastes the same all across the board. The secret to a good pizza is the secret to it's the recipe of the sauce. I mean, you need everything to come together and the Absolutely. crust. But the sauce is up to the individual pizza maker. They make the sauce. But you could have twenty great pizzerias that use the same cheese. So if the sauce is good, and, and I, and I, are, I love a good in, if sauce. You're in, if you're in one specific area, the, the chances are very high that you're getting the same cheese on. Yeah, like, of, che- you know, che- but, if it's serviceable, if the cheese the is good, the cheese also, is it. That's what it is. The sauce also is ordered. I mean, you know. Like, really? It depends. On, it depends. But I mean, you know, sauce in a lot of places is going to be like their salad. The, look, dude, the average pizzeria, if you think they're they're they're... You know, their their grandmother's in the back doing a Sunday gravy. No, I just think an employee, week. Joe. Just an employee. I'm I'm just I'm just speaking colorfully. Okay. Doesn't you know, we don't need that. What? I'm just having a colorful time. I yeah, you're having a very verse military. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm saying, yeah, dude. I think they're getting a vat. Of, I think they're. I getting, think most pizzerias make their own sauce. I, I would disagree. I think they're getting cans of sauce because I've worked at pizzerias where you have the cans of sauce you open. They come off the truck with the Cisco stuff with the with the you blue trees for the wings. Use those cans of sauce to make the sauce, though. No, those cans are made sauce already, and they're. I, I don't know. I I I think some places do it, and 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 some places don't. You mm. know what I mean? There are plenty of places that do not this, make. This, sauce. I think the sauce makes the sauce. You lift his feet, get blood to his head. Lift his head, get blood to his feet. <laughs> put cookies in his mouth. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Really? Oh, for for the yeah yeah okay all right so um so oh, no, let, let's go flu. let's go to well it's just the first battle it's just the oh, first okay. battle yeah okay. all right so we're doing a lightning round here oh, oh, we I know see. where we stand we've said enough on this topic we've got a few thousand votes in already extra sauce versus extra cheese let's get that humble pie segment in here pimp is choosing wow I didn't think you'd choose that pimp wow. Okay. Clobbered. I got to be honest, though. Clobbered. Extra cheese. It was just a matter of the margin. 76.2% wow. for extra cheese. Well, to me, though, anytime to I'm, I'm with you, anytime a pizza is bad or I don't like it, it's usually because there's not enough sauce or the sauce is very bland. I want a spicy sauce, a zesty sauce. I want extra sauce, lots of sauce. Would, che- I'm never like, oh, the cheese are you very is well disgusting. Done? I would agree. I'm well ve- done? Very well done. I would agree well with you, guy. and I wish I wish I'd kind of taken a side now, but I didn't. But I would agree with you that more... It, it, it doesn't happen frequently, but more frequently than me needing extra cheese, I will say, can I have a side of sauce for the pizza and I'll, I'll dunk it? Yes. I've had to do that more than I've had to ask for extra cheese. Exactly. Can I just throw this out there? We didn't discuss this. Just real quick. No, How do you feel is, about this. the big bubble? Some people like the bubble. If, I, if there's a bubble on the pizza, I'm taking it back. I'm throwing it in the trash, and I don't even want to be friends with people that like the bubble. Some people like the bubble. I, I really don't have a hard take on it, and the fact that you do is... Sh- Interesting. No, you're in the wrong. You should have a strong take on the bubble. The bubble is bad. It's a mistake. It's a yeah, fuck up. It's I, a tumor seen, on the pizza. I used to see the bubble a lot more in like the aughts. And okay. what now? In the aughts. Oh, the aughts. Yeah, I don't really see bubbles anymore in pizza. I don't know. Maybe they rectified no that problem. Right? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't go, mind the bubble because sometimes it's fun because it gets crispy and then you bite it. It looks like a little biodome on there and you bite it and then you see like it's airy and crunchy. Fun. Yeah, but there's no cheese in the bubble. See, it's just a big yeah, but blank it's, empty it's, spot. It's, I think it's beautiful in its imperfection. It's no. wabi sabi. You're incorrect. Also, it's taking up 
where there should be cheese and sauce. What is our second uh, lightning round? It is way, crust, crust no versus crust. no crust. crust. This is another thing that many people love to say, oh, it's the best part, because I've never eaten crust in my uh, life. It, it, listen, uh, let me say this. Let me say this. The only reason the crust is, is, and I hate when people say it's the best part. Thank you. It's not the best part. It's the worst it's, part. It's, an, it's, a, it's crucial, because I will say the worst pizza I've ever had in my life, it started with bad crust. It started with the fact that they don't know. That's why pizza. Wait, let me, let me clarify. The let me I'm clarify the something. bottom of the crust. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Right, 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 right. But, but, that's, but yeah, that's, I hope that's clear for them because we're not talking the crust because the crust is in, incredibly important. But we're talking, do you eat the crust at the end? I usually, the I usually, yeah. I get to that edge. I usually toss that crust aside. It's extra calories. It's taking up more space. I'm already eating something not great for me. You're describing the bubble. You know, yeah. And then I'm also like, it's just bread without any of the good stuff on it. Now, Pizza Hut, once again, brilliant. They go, we're going to take our crust, and we're going to put cheese on it, and we're going to call it breadsticks. And I was like, you guys are really sharp. Well, I, I, the reason <laughs> I disagree is because I, cause it, I won't eat the crust on a, on a crappy slice, but I, I like to think that I frequent places that are, you know, really above board. When it comes to pizzeria, really, with the clam pizzas, even even you're you're, you're even way out of line pizzas. with the clam pizza. You think so many people have come to me above. since that episode and been like, "What are they talking?" So about? So many have come to me and said, "Sal is a lunatic. It's not a thing that exists anywhere, but it is, but it's not in one, in one specific region. Yeah, in your it's neighborhood, Little Island. Island. Yes, yes it exists. Yeah, I mean, well, it's literally the equivalent of me going, a, "My aunt Sammy is everywhere." It's no, a population. Your family. It's a population right. of five hundred and fifty thousand yeah. people. Huh. That's that. There's white, available white clam pie is available to all of us. I don't know if we have a calculator, but there's like 375 million people in the country. But I'm saying where I'm from, zero, it's zero, literally it's prolific. Yeah. It's 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 yeah, prevalent. Where you're from? Yeah, like 10 minutes away. Yeah, but that's a, one place out of an entire country. Where you I said would it was say a staple I would every say pizzeria. that if you if you if we got some type of accurate number analytics, you do remember we called three Staten Island places and two of them did not have it. You do remember I that, I thought we right? were calling uh, New York City places. No, we called Staten Island. We went into yeah. Staten Island just to make it But didn't it we say, but favorite. you heard of it? You guys said no, you never heard of it. Astounded. We've heard of it. They we're were down to now. No, no, yeah. he said he's never heard of it. Even. I think, no, I think I had heard. I don't know. I'm mean, going to have to go back to the episode. I mean, pause yeah, now right, and go watch the other episode. Yeah, 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 but the crust. Crust or no crust. It's a the waste. Crust it's a waste. If the pizza the is good is pizza, then the crust is amazing all the way through. I don't. That I, crust is nice and charred. It's got a little bit of the the uh, the, the flour on the bottom. The uh, Some people put a little cornmeal on there. It's crunchy. Can I tell you, I hate that salmonella, whatever that shit is that they put salmonella. on there. Salmonella. Semolina? Semolina. I can't. Salmonella is Sorry for all the experts. I also don't care for salmonella. Uh, Sal I, salmonella. I can't stand it. I will call a place and say, can you not put that shit on my pizza, please? And then the guy doesn't understand because he's some Genzo from across the, the pond. Oh. The <laughs> hey. <laughs> No, but no, but like they're always, a lot of them. They're like, no, there's no way to get it off. I'm like, but, I don't understand. You got it on, get it off. I don't care for the stigma that I still have. Everyone calls me a child. You're a little girl. You suck. You're bad at comedy. All because <laughs> I like to have a pile of crust at the end, and then I have to secretly wrap it in a towel and hide it or, or, or shift it because people are like, you're a dork. You suck. You don't need the crust. But I'm like, it's it's lacking. The main ingredients, the cheese and the sauce. That's what makes it But if it it's fun. a really crispy, beautiful, delicious crust, especially on a thin a thin pizza. I, 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 no. I'll tell you what I've done yeah. sometimes. Thin pizza doesn't like, count, I've by the way. I've eaten two or three slices. <laughs> I've eaten two. <sighs> no, no, like a thin, like what you would call thin crust where it's like cracker thin. Yeah. That crust doesn't count. You eat that because it's it's almost non-existent. I, I agree. The, my favorite okay. That's non-existent. I'm talking about crust. I'm not to, but I'm yeah. also not talking about thin the big crust. doughy white ones that are undercooked that are disgusting. No, I, I know. You know, We're still talking about a good piece of pizza. But you feel like you don't need to dip that crust I, in anything? No. I, I'll tell you what else I've done. I've eaten the two, three slices, two or three slices, saved all three crusts, then ate the crust in succession at the end. What I like to do, I'm very giving. I save my crusts and I give them to whoever, like someone that might like the crust. Right. I say, here, here's a little treat. It's like giving dog bones to a puppy. Right, right. I'm like, I was just going to say, Enjoy those. that is so disgusting to me that the yeah. other person eats it. Not yeah. you, what? that another person eats it. Yeah. That literally would be like if you handed me a hot wing bone and you were like, here you go. <laughs> do you want the meat left yeah. on this? You, they are I'm making like, out oh, with you. Your mouth was right up against that crust. It was in your mouth. I don't mind mouth. I, I'll kiss no, both of you on the lips. But I don't you're care. Not, but you're not the one eating it. 
But even if someone, I mean, I guess if someone ate half a hot dog and gave it to me, I probably wouldn't be thrilled. That's why it's the same thing. It's diff- different. I know, but I'm not the one eating. As he's pointed out, I'm not uh, the one eating the crust. But I'm not. Oh, so you, my you wife say, eats my crust, and we uh, well, have made out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. made love. It's, your wife's a different, a little bit of a different story. I yeah, think. yeah. But but I will say this: sometimes I love the crust, but it has to be. Pizza Hut or a place that like where the crust tastes like garlic bread or something almost in and of itself. Then I'm like, now it's another part of the meal. But now, you, what, what? What? What crust is garlic bread? I don't understand. Pizza Hut. Okay, it's like a buttery. Well, you're not, I don't think you're playing on a level bread. playing field when you mention Pizza Hut. I think they're just. I think they're playing fast and loose with pizza rules, and I think that you're applying it to to, to the standard. I maybe pie. could have took taken a side in the crust no crust battle. I yeah. probably should have. What do you think about the stigma? If someone comes to your home, I go to your house. It's a Super Bowl party, whatever. I'm eating pizza. I leave the Which crust. You've done. Are, you, are you judging? Are you, I mean, are you guys upset with me? Do you think no, I'm an ass? No, and, I, and the stigma bothers me because Thank it's you. like the stigma of being a single guy in your 40s that you get from married people. Yeah. Where they're like, well, that's weird. Why are you still single? It's a little creepy. But well, yeah. So that, no, you, it's not, you think that's I'm stigma. trying to side with you here. You I th- know. I appreciate it. But why are you, you still single? Why topic? are you married, you weirdo? I, I yeah. don't know. I like someone, someone will eat my pizza crust. That's why. For clarification, you think that is the same as a stigma with crust on I pizza? I think I do agree that there are certain double standards in this society we live in. You know, we're living in a society. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, there are certain double standards in this that. society yes. that are so imbalanced yeah. It makes me angry. And I do think that two of them are <laughs> the married person judging the bachelor and the pizza it's crust spectrum. thing. It's a spectrum. Yeah, it, but he's right. People get, like I would never judge you for eating the crust, but I, if I don't, if I don't eat ta- it, somebody going, yes. "Oh, you don't eat the crust." I don't even know what you're talking about. And I've then, never even heard why would anyone what what problem could anyone have if they were with you and it was their super you know bowl why party you don't and then know you left the crust? They you, call know, it, you know why you don't know what we're talking about? Why? Cuz you eat the crust. You're on the other side, baby. But yeah. Fair. And I, they, I, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. What, what? 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 grounds does that have? They're sick on? people. These people. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's That's nuts. why it's a stigma. And so, they call it childish. They're like you're like a child. And I say, you know, it's childish eating something you don't want to eat because your parents are making right. you. You're my parents. S- right. Not you. These people. So somebody literally, you've had this happen to you, where someone like, uh, like, like, like. Every chastises day. you for every day. Every, this. every day, this hating pizza. crush should be a component for diagnosing mental illness. Exactly. See, they're calling me mentally ill. Oh, I'm not wow. mentally there's ill. A whole, I'm oh, fit. there's a whole if group you of people out there. If you don't like pizza crust, you're a serial killer. There oh, you go. Wow, I'm sorry. If you're an adult, I had no idea you were dealing with yes, this. Yes, if it's you're not an easy. adult leaving pizza bones, you're the problem with society. Pizza the bones. crust is the best part. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, uh, this is my whole life. This is about. my whole life. They make me sit in the back of the bus. These people. Wait, go. Wait, scroll a little bit more. What does that say? The Rosa makes sure to eat every. Oh, I thought that's something else. Yeah, okay. so too, so All right, too. thought so too. All right, okay. let's, it's let's not see. easy. What do we got here? I mean, clearly, I think it's going to be a. What, I'm it's telling gonna you, it's going to be a whopper. You, people are you, don't. You, you think it's going to be ninety ten? They Eight. don't know what I've been I through. I think it'll be another 70 80. something. I think it's going to be about 80. 86 14. Okay. Called it. Pimpy. Whoa. What is it? 84.8. Wow. That's Just pretty close. 15.2. Uh, I got to say, that's probably one of the top 10 biggest lopsided battles we've, we've seen. 5,000 votes. I knew it was going to be the crust. That's a, that's a it's, it's a and, certain kind of psychopath that's like, why aren't you eating this thing? And I'm like, it's, it's, the, it's the bones of the pizza. Yeah. It's a totally different thing. I think. I have a feeling this next one. That tonight's gonna be a good night, or tonight? Tonight is your night, bro. I have a feeling that this next one is gonna also be these people psychotically charging Who are? forward for margarita pizza. No, margarita's gonna t- margarita better take an L here. Oh, I don't the only think it's going the to. only answer here is original cheese. I don't think it's going to. This is. This is now. This really this is burns. Real, this really yeah. This you. is something that I'm laying in bed thinking. About. I'm having a child in six weeks. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking <laughs> about margarita pizza slowly pushing out cheese and the, the people acting like this is interchangeable. Many comedy clubs even have this. I'm not going to name names. One Manhattan comedy club that I frequent. You ask for a cheese pizza, they literally will go. You got it, and they bring out a, a margarita, margarita pizza, and it's one of the, the the grossest lies ever portrayed on the American people. Portrayed's not the right I, word. Uh, I agree that uh, it's it's margarita pizza has become the Texas Hold'em of foods. Nobody knew what the hell Texas Hold'em was until Celebrity Poker came out on TV. Sure, it was then, Rounders. Well, that was the same time. 
It was like all these poker things came out. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, everybody was like, oh, so you, we have a game. We play Texas Hold'em. It's like, because you saw it in a movie or you right. saw a Vince Vaughn playing it on, on <laughs> IFC or whatever the hell that yes. show was on. And then in another it's, movie, you, you saw Vince Vaughn eating a margarita pizza. You know, but this is it. Like, he is right. Like, Margar I, don't, I don't hate margarita pizza, but this has become a thing. When I go to a pizza place, I will always try the margarita slice. I am curious. But this is a thing where... It has become like this. It's not. It's not even that it, it's, it's it becomes months, people, right? that people it's, like it. It's the uh, the arrogance of people that the thing they found out about a few years ago. They're like, well, if you don't like it, you're. A da, da, da. It's like, <laughs> shut up. I completely shut agree. up. Couldn't agree more. And who and are you the, hanging out with? I've already looked at some of the yeah. comments. That's okay. these are the comments okay. we're going to receive. You're right out now. there in your SI bubble. You don't know what it's like, man. Yeah. These people. <laughs> <laughs> they're after. I'm getting eggs thrown at me and banana peels when I'm walking I, around. I, that's that. I have the same exact grip. It's not that I'm against margarita pizza, but sometimes when you want a classic slice, it's not margarita. And a lot of places have margarita, and they don't. And, and it's like, you have an order, and it comes, and it's not an original cheese, and you were like. Why didn't you specify that this was not going to be a classic pizza? That's what I'm saying. Also, I don't want tomatoes on my pizza. They squirt. There's seeds involved. It's well, disgusting. I've had, I've had plenty of margarita pizzas where it wasn't, where it was still just regular old sauce. Mm. But then you get the discs of cheese. Yes. I mean, I got to be honest. That's annoying show. because you can never. If you if you bite into a disc, the whole disc the whole, is going taking in the whole mouth. thing. Yeah. Exactly. The whole thing you can you have to never use your fingers. It's, it, it's an, I, that's that's I a major it. Look problem. Look at this. Look at this. People have horrible taste in pizza, picking cheese over margarita. People have horrible taste in pizza, picking cheese. People have horrible taste in light bulbs, picking Thomas Edison. Oh, th it is the original form of the food. I know. This is so nuts. It's the most basic kind, and this Look, is, this and is Johnny Come Lately. They're being shits over the spelling because you spelled it wrong. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. I, I that auto corrected. Then I everybody's guess. being a shit over the spelling. No, are you, no, I think they're saying what is margarita pizza? No, no, no. Several people you missed it were being like, oh, I guess you mean the drink because a margarita pizza oh, is an H. Age. All right. Nothing beats fresh I hope the mozz. people that are voting don't think we're talking about let me cheese tell you pizza versus margarita. Hold on. Let me address Genie. Let me address Genie. Nothing beats fresh mutts. Okay? You know what else? You know what else? Nothing beats it is my favorite saying genie. mozzarella instead of mutts. Oh, I, I, I hate it. I yeah. hate it so much. I, I can't say Wait, it's supposed to be oh, mozzarella? Dude, dude, <laughs> dude. You don't like mutts on a sandwich? No. I also don't like stupid people like you that don't say the whole word. Wait, I actually don't know what's right. People say mutts. Oh, they shorten it to mutz? They, sh they shorten it. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you against mutz or yes. mozzarella or mozzarella? Mutz. Just no, but you said shorten. mozzarella. She, what she's writing is mutz. Yeah, mutz is no good. But people go, that's how people say it now. I don't say mutz, but do you have a problem with mozzarella versus mozzarella? I could do I could do without oh, the accent. We're in the United States. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa. I, this I, just, I thought a, your original I, just oh, Alex I, thought I'm I thought your original <laughs> I thought your original gripe was that people say mozzarella instead of mozzarella. I hate I when people too. say mutz. The word mutz. I don't like mutz either. Oh no, I can't I'm so sorry. It. It's the mutz. <laughs> Dude, give me a give me a sandwich with fresh mutz. What do oh, you do? What do you oh, do? I can't What's How about taking the top off? Taking the top off. Huh? It makes me so. Ma I'm I'm way worked up from this. Yeah. Le no, I like it. Up. I like I like a little bit of the fever in here right now. The Margarita energy. pizza is how it was originally imagined. Regular pizza we know is a product of communist. Shut up. How do you feel about now? You're <laughs> You're a New Yorker. How do you feel about the ordering by saying, let me get a? Because I don't care for that. I don't like it let at all. Let me get a uh, scoop of the boop and a poppity pop. How about you say, may I have a, please? Can I tell you who, who corrected me in that and it changed my life? Who? I was with Marina Franklin and I, we were ordering some food oh, somewhere. You, you, you're an ex, let me get a. And I said, I said, let me get a. And she goes, say please. And I go, <laughs> Oh Jesus, you're right. It was like so clear in one moment. Like yeah, but I could see that as like a vintage New York like flavor. Like, hey, let me get a large pie, please. Hey, uh. large yeah, pizza. I don't with see nothing. any disrespect there. With I don't nothing. see. I, I don't so. see any disrespect. I probably have said, "Let me get it," but I probably have also said, "May I please have?" But then, I guess it's it's also tone, right? Because you can be like, "May I please have?" Uh, boom. Yeah. But uh, let me. You said it like, "Let me get a." Uh, right. But some people are like, "Let me get a uh, this." I know those right, all seem right. similar, but there was Take subtle it down a notch, buddy. Right. Yeah. Let's go around and do 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 a nice version of "Let me get it" and a shitty version of okay. "Please." Yeah. And we'll each do it. A nice version 
of let me get a yeah. and a shitty version, yeah, yeah. please. All right. Yeah, Let's do it. Yeah. Go ahead. Hi. Um, let me get a uh, okay. a regular slice, please. No, no, no. no. What? You said a nice Stop version. Stop it. Let me get it. You okay, did it. Okay, okay. Okay. Can I please? Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. All, right. All right. Hey, let me get a um, cheese slice piece, please. Oh, okay, okay, stop, right, stop, You did stop. it, okay, okay, we okay, get it, we right. get it. Move it to the okay. next. Oh, let me try it again, let me try it again. Okay, shitty ready? dude, shitty, ready? please. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Good afternoon, right? I can say that. <laughs> can I say something before it? No. No, okay, okay, <laughs> ready, ready, got it. Launch ready? right into it. Yeah. yeah. Let me get a cheese slice, please. Oh, I can't yeah, do it, I can't do it. This it's hard, yeah. I can't do it. Because you're a man. All right, just go to the, go to the shit, well, this might be proof that you can't do it. Nice, let me get it. All right, ready? Let me get a cheese slice. All right, now do a shitty please. Yeah. Now do a shitty okay. please. All right. May I have a regular cheese slice, please? Yeah, wow, that's good. Yeah. That was good. That was very good. That was very nice. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Let me get uh... <laughs> See, I don't care for that. I, let me get I don't like to let me get no matter cute. what. I think it's playful. I think it's fun. Yeah. That's my nice. And then, uh, and then uh... let me get a cheese slice, please. <laughs> This is tough. There's been so many good ones out today, and it's hard to choose. You, you, one. you were supposed to say, "May I please? May I please?" Because you still said, "Let me get a." Right, ready? Oh, I got a good one. Ready? Ready? Yeah. May I please have a cheese slice? <laughs> yeah, but that's good. Well, I think now we're out of no, the parameters of the spirit no, of the it's game. It's a shitty. No, no. Uh, it's, you, you can you can shout at anyone. I love you. The tone. Wait, okay, ready? Ready? Say it. Say it. Say ready? It. I'll do it. I won't shout. Don't use. I won't shout. Don't use your voice. I won't level. shout. I won't shout. May I please have a cheese slice? <laughs> I still think you're cheating in the game. That's not cheating. It's you, you said say it in a shitty way. That's a shitty yeah, but, way. But this seething. Well, I think this is implying that there's been some incident beforehand. It implies that you've been trying to get right. a slice for a I while. I will admit that mine sounds like you're coming into the middle of a scene. Yeah, <laughs> something, yeah. Something happened in here. Yeah, yeah, it's been bad service all day. Uh, it sounds like you just right found out your property taxes went up. Because that's the thing with let me get a... The only way to protect the... To, Make the let me get a acceptable is to do a okay, back and ready? forth up ready? front. You can Here we like, go. Ready? Ready? Yeah. That's the counter. All okay. Ready? Please, uh, cheese slice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ignoring. Yeah, on the phone even. All right. Let me get a... I, work, uh, I have people walking No, go. you do phone now. I you gotta do, do yeah. your own. Yeah. Matt, please get a cheese. Oh, very uh, good, Joe. Very dismissive. good. That was good, right? Yeah. Very good. And then let me... I'll try a nice let me get a, but I think it's impossible. Let me get a. Not bad. Yeah, Both it's more of a. Uh, you have to make it inquisitive. Yeah, not uh, a demand. It's kind of like these people where you say something and they go, "What's the matter?" Yeah, and you say, "Well, nothing's the matter." Right. I said, "Yeah, uh, oh, that's a pet peeve of yeah. mine." Yeah, I'm just like upset. What time is it? Yeah, I'm like, "What's the matter? What happened?" Yeah. Oh, I, I do hate that. that. Let's see. I uh, hate it. Let's see who takes this one. All right, let's the uh, humble pie segment. We're gonna wait, wait, wait. Oh, did we go to the... Oh, we already did. They were... Yeah, we read all right, all right, all right. Let's go here. Where's Pimp going on this? Original cheese drum roll. <laughs> Thank heavens. Nice. Yeah. Thank heavens. 70. Finally. Okay. Some justice here. Yeah, not 70, no change is good. The original cheese is winning 70.4% to the margarita's 29.6%. Is that... I didn't get the H in there, right? On the margarita? I didn't get the Very H. <laughs> Yo, plug away, please. Oh, I have a new special. It's out right now, I think. When does this come out? It's out right now. It had a big weekend. We're already at 3 million views, for God's <laughs> sakes. A uh, new special. It's called Enough for Everybody. It's on YouTube. It's free. It's streaming. I have two others also on YouTube called I Hate Myself and This Year's Material. Three in three years. How does he do it? Who knows? I was going to say, what are you doing one, one about every eight weeks at this point? Yeah, at this point. But uh, <laughs> I swear to God, it's good. Go check it out. Watch it. Leave a comment. That's like. awesome, buddy. Congrats. Thanks, Might man. I add yeah. genuinely that Joe List is one of my favorite comics. Oh, He's great. He's Thank so you. funny. He's such an amazing joke writer. Man, uh, it's, that he, tone. <laughs> His I appreciate it. I just felt like that was kind of now watch the that special. was a let me get of a plug. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you, thank you guys for having me. I seriously, I love the show. Thanks I'm really, I'm, here, I'm honored to be. I'll come and just sit here like that guy from the Tom Green show. I <laughs> fucking crack thrilled. up. Oh, you yeah, guys make me laugh. Guy? Yeah, where's he now? I don't know. He's laughing somewhere. Yeah, but you guys just tickle me sideways. We love you, you, dude. You're welcome anytime, and we love you. Still love you, baby. Love you. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.